Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Fitwise eConference platform. My name is Jenny Elliott and I'm Head of Events at Fitwise Management. In case you don't know our background, we are a professional conference organiser and association management company and have been in business for nearly 30 years. We identified a gap in the market for an affordable virtual conference platform. So in 2019, together with our close partners, ESW Solutions, we developed a Fitwise eConference. Then, of course, COVID-19 escalated, as did the demand for virtual events. In this demonstration, I will highlight the main functions and features of Fitwise eConference, but please bear in mind that the platform was developed with flexibility in mind, so we are almost always able to accommodate specific requests. I'm going to start by showing you the very beginning of the process, um, but I won't concentrate on this too much because we want to look at the e-conference platform itself. However, just to explain that delegates are directed to a page or like this, um, and they will register like any other event. You may or may not require us to develop a registration site for you, but in many cases, this is included in the e-conference package. For this event, which is the virtual conference conference, Delegates registered here and then received their confirmation email with access details to the e-conference site. Now this is the e-conference site itself and they just logged in like that. In this case, the e-conference was based on an on-demand format which delegates could access for a set period. This can be for any period to suit your events, so that might be days, weeks or even months. I'm not going to look at this event in any more detail. I will switch over now to a different event. This is FIS HIS International 2020. Some clients like to run an event on a specific day and time and run it as a live event. This can often be about creating a buzz around the event like it does on the build up to a physical event. And everybody will log in and congregate for the event at the same time. However, a bit of a trade secret here is that we strongly advise that all sessions are pre-recorded to avoid any technical or connection issues. These sessions would be played as if they were live at their allotted time so the delegate experiences the event as if it was truly live. It is then possible to run live Q&A sessions. Speakers are asked to be available on the day and are brought in via video link using Zoom or a similar platform. Delegates can submit questions through the live chat stream and speakers will respond through their video link. A chair um, or even one of our AV technicians can be on hand to feed the questions to the speakers. And FIS HIS 2020 is set up exactly like this. It is an event that is running live across three days and almost all of the sessions are pre-recorded, but being streamed to delegates as if they are live. They are, however, um, there are live Q&A sessions built in within the programme, as well as some live debates. While most delegates have chosen to join the event during the live stream, others may just choose to access the event at their leisure on demand in the form of catch-up TV. Just to explain a little bit about the colour scheme, theming and branding um, of these platforms, and they are event specific, so can be adapt, uh, adapted to suit your own event. The platform is easy to navigate and very user friendly. Rooms or halls are event specific and we can design the buttons specifically for your event, um, which also means that we can obviously change any terminology to fit your own requirements. Just to mention a couple of things about how we recreate the delegate interaction um, that people often talk about as experiencing at a physical event. This attendees button here um, can be accessed and delegates can contact each other through here, but there are no actual contact details shared with individuals. People can choose to respond or not to respond through their email. There's also various chat functions throughout the site that you'll see as I go through the site. Um, and these are often under, other, under presentations and within other areas. Delegates can also create their own playlist um, of sessions. 
So basically what would happen is um, you'll see a presentation, you'll add it to your playlist and it will appear here. So I'm just going to head into the live con conference stream just now. You'll notice that this event obviously has four streams running. Not all e-conferences um, have such a busy programme, but I'll just go into one of the lecture theatres just now. And as this event is being run live, um, you simply click on the view live stream. Just to mention one thing that um, we are obviously viewing this slightly differently just now, purely because I am recording this. So if there is a lag, you don't actually experience that when you're viewing it live yourself through your own um, PC, laptop or mobile device. Uh, particular five options uh, were selected entirely non-randomly by me. So this is a live Q&A session that we've um, just joined at the moment. Underneath, you will be able to see that they have a live poll running at the moment. Um, and also there is a live Q&A session there. Um, so that's basically for people to submit questions, which will then in turn be passed to the chair to ask the speakers. This is also where people often interact with one another, um, just about general comments and suggestions. This is quite a good example of how the um, poll results are shown on screen with the speakers there in the corner. This is also how presentations are shown. So the slides are shown on this section and the speaker in that top box. I'm just going to go back home now um, and we will visit the posted area. This may be relevant to some events, um, I realise that this is more for scientific or educational events, but I'll touch on this briefly. For example, um, this event has hundreds of posters. Um, again, we can accommodate as many posters as you require. Um, however, I know most events may only have a handful. So we have the abstract there, uh, sorry, the title of the abstract, and then this is where you can view the poster. And you can also click onto that poster uh, so that you can view it in a lot more detail um, or even download it or zoom in. At the bottom here um, for this event, we've also chosen to include short video clips from the, um, so basically poster talks are embedded within the posted area, which is quite nice. And at the bottom here is also the comments area, which we were talking about before, where people can add comments to different posters and um, they can respond as well. And at this point, we will move into the exhibition hall. For this event, you'll notice it's referred to as the sponsor forum, but um, it's essentially an exhibition hall. This is how all the stands would appear. And then you would click in to each of the stands. What exhibitors have displayed in their stand space is dependent on the event and what is included in their specific package. It can include things like videos or PDF downloads. It really depends how extensive um, you wish those packages to be. For um, some of our main sponsors for this event, they even have Zoom links. Um, so they're like private meeting rooms and you can offer that as um, either an additional sponsorship opportunity or it can just be included as part of their package. So basically delegates can click onto the Zoom link and join them in their private meeting space. The majority of our clients um, also use our full uh, PCO service, or Professional Conference Organising Service, which means we can also undertake the sales side and can develop the sales prospectus um, with tiered sales packages in line with the event requirements. We find that companies or sponsors are definitely on board with virtual events. It's uncharted territory for many, um, and we have a responsibility to put the time and effort into explaining the benefits, the extent of which can often surprise people. In addition to the more obvious sponsorship and symposia opportunities, there are some key benefits to, um, for sponsors at virtual events. Delegate numbers can often be higher than that um, of face-to-face -face conferences, um, and obviously there's scope for unlimited spaces. 
There's a greater window of opportunity to engage with delegates as the site can remain open for long periods and this can often be weeks or months rather than days. All delegates can be contacted, as I explained before, through this attendees function um, and it's fully GDPR compliant as contact details are not disclosed. Um, there's also extensive co uh, cost savings in terms of there's no travel or accommodation. Before I finish, I'll just go back to the homepage here and I'll show you a couple of other useful features. Um, if I wanted to add something to my playlist, I could easily just go into a session um, and click on add to my playlist. I can then order these presentations um, in an order to suit me. I can even include posters in that as well. So for events who, that have multi streams or lots of different topics, um, that's something that's used um, quite often. There's also a search function, which is really useful. I'll go into the poster area just now to show you this. So you can go into search events. You can either um, search by subject or different tags or different speakers or even by keywords and they will pull up all the relevant search results. Another advantage of the Fitwise eConference platform is that you have the option of using a single site for multiple events, meaning that you are essentially creating an archive of events or educational material. The unique thing about Fitwise eConference is that it has been developed with specialists from two key event functions, professional conference organisers and AV technicians. Most virtual conference products are basically a shell with limited flexibility. Having our own platform means we can manage everything on your behalf to deliver a slick virtual event, or you can select which services best suit your requirements. We are completely flexible. I hope you found this demonstration useful and please just get in touch if you'd like to discuss anything further. My details are on the screen there. Thanks very much.